Hello everyone, myself Ravi Aglari and you people are listening to me on Academy online platform. There's a biology series for all examination. This is my lesson number 14. I have you guys have completed all 13 lessons. And the previous lesson was also the bilingual diversity part, but some of the power portion I could not discuss in the previous lecture. So here I brought all of you regarding the vertebrates part. So I'm a director of Purvan Chalais and taking classes of civil services from last 20 years. Two of my books are published on Micra Hill. The one is on science attack and second is on environment. These are highly selling book and demanding for UPSC segment. This is my telegram channel. Those you can see on the screen and uh, Regarding this, uh, all the PDF and the video links, I will tell you guys, you will connect with me on the telegrams. My academy profile and academy.com, Ablika Direct are Ravi Pegari 2010. Here you can find out my all the plus classes and many of my special classes. My code is Ravi UPC during joining any course. If you use it, you will get extra 10% discount in your fee structure. Why an academy is the best choice for all of you? Because widest choice of educators, flexibility to, uh, courses you can find out. Unlimited views of lectures, live mentorship facility we are giving. 178 plus toppers got selected in 2021 with the help of an academy. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE, they are taking their classes on an academy. So you people have a good opportunity to connect with all the professional and experienced faculties of India on an academy platform. An academy subscription if you want to take and use the UPSC code for the plus and iconic courses for the combo subscription and also for the optional subscriptions UPSC code will give you 10% discount in your fee structure so this is a biological science and here I am discussing with you about the second part of animal diversity as earlier in the previous lecture I finished the non cardiate portion in this video I will come on the cardiates part so cardiates are non cardiates are vertebrates are non vertebrates both are nearby same characteristics so animal kingdoms are divided into two groups here I am telling you as a vertebrates and non vertebrates Vertebrates are those which have a backbone, have vertebral columns, and here the vertebrates have those vertebral columns and all, they have a backbone inside their bodies. And see, the fishes, dogs, humans, they are the example of vertebrates. Many of the vertebrates picture you can see on the screen. Vertebrates are invertebrates. If you go in the comparison, invertebrates are those that do not have a skeleton actually. Some example of they have a spiders, flies, caterpillars, they all are the example of them. Vertebrates are often larger and they have more complex bodies than the invertebrates. There are many more invertebrates in the vertebrate. The number of invertebrates are higher in the world as comparison to vertebrates. If you see the property of vertebrates, so there are two more important properties of vertebrates. The one is a cold-blooded animals and second is a warm-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals are those actually also called as a poiclothums. The one more term I am using here that is called poiclothums. Poiclothums animals are those animal guys which body temperature change in the respect of environmental gradients so that is the reason these animals not feeling as a cold and hot situations even many of the animals like fishes amphibians reptiles they all are considered as a poiclothums animals are cold blooded so that is the reason their surrounding their their bodies temperature is different on the surrounding conditions in the summer and winters they do not have any kind of problems so easy to survive they are the feature of the cold blooded animals are poiclothums the next feature is a warm blooded animal warm blooded animal is also called as a homeotherm feature this is also called as a homeotherm feature homeotherm is a warm blooded animal here guys you know what happened in this case temperature of the body always fixed temperature of the body always fixed and that is again during winter they are suffering the cold condition during summer they are suffering the hot condition and that is the reason guys warm blooded animals you must we know guys we all example like even the birds and mammals bird and mammals you will see the examples of Homeotherms are warm blooded animals. The birds also feel as a cool and hot conditions. Even you can see the best example of birds in the in the in the summer, early morning, four o'clock, they start to create sound. But in the winters, around six or seven, when the sunlight will come later on, they start because birds also feel cold and hot conditions. These are the features of the uh, even the many of the chordates like uh, vertebrates. Uh, even a part of the fishes and amphibians. So actually guys, uh, vertebrates and invertebrates, uh, chordates, non-chordates, whatever you can see. But here the example I brought all of you, that is a chordata examples. In the previous lecture, I told you fishes, amphibians, reptile, birds and mammals are the example of chordates. Some of the main features you can see here, like amphibians, the moist permeable skin is there. Frog, nevet, salamanders. Fish, they have a gills and wet scales. The goldfish, shark, cod and all. Reptiles, they have a dry scales. Crocodile, lizard, snakes, birds have a feathers or beaks, sparrows, ostrich and all, 
mammals have a fur produce the milk being due to presence of mammary gland it's a very specific feature example rabbit kangaroo human and dolphin fishes if you go into the adaptabilities of the fishes guy they are they are living in the water bodies okay they are living in the water bodies and they are breathe they are breathing through the help of gills okay they have bodies their body have a scales and the fins fins are those so that they they will use to uh, work as a paddle guys so with the help of fin they can move anywhere okay and see guys their neck is jointed neck is jointed neck is jointed here you can see that it is jointed here okay uh, the head and the back side is jointed there is no neck actually here and that is the reason whenever the fishes are moving there is no disturbances of the neck here easily they can move okay and mostly they are the cold blooded and the lays eggs shark are fish but uh, they give the birth to the uh, uh, live the you know young one so some of the exceptions in the cases of fishes you can also see amphibians amphibians you come here guys amphibians amphibians are the cold blooded animals that live in the water even as tadpoles uh, they are breathing through the help of uh, gills whenever inside the water bodies and they are breathing through the help of lungs if they are on the earth surface the main types of amphibians are the frogs toads and salamanders so these are the various example of amphibians reptiles reptiles you people know very well they are also cold blooded animals they are breathing through the help of lungs they have a scales and even their egg legs reptiles include the snakes turtles and tortoises crocodiles alligators lizards these are the examples dinosaurs that was the biggest reptile on the earth in the ever past so dinosaurs were the reptile although some scientists believe that some of the dinosaurs were the warm blooded okay reptiles are more common in the tropic areas even than in the warm region and not found in the polar areas even the maximum reptiles you can see reptiles insects you know these type of animals are very common in the dry areas also so whenever you go in the rajasthan yeah this dry area desert areas reptiles are most of them there guys birds very interesting animals group they are have a warm blooded animals like human beings they have a feather and legs they lay the eggs and most can fly although many including the penguins and the ostriches can't fly some of the exceptions are always there as a uh, because the birds are warm blooded their eggs have to be in, uh, incubated to keep the embryos inside the worms or they will perish guys actually birds have a lot of features birds are very light in weight they have a pneumatic nose they have a pneumatic nose pneumatic nose means actually a bone where have a air inside and that's why the buoyancy is there and they are very easy to fight from birth base as the birds you know they have very uh, limited number of organs they have limited number of organs limited number of organs and the body organs are even reduces body organs are reduces the reason that's why the weight of the birds will be very less even they have a single ovary even they have a single ovary and that is the reason the weight of animal is very very less so these are the properties of the birds those i am telling you here guys in this case even birds birds have a have a have a have a uh, even the birds have a very small rectum okay even rectum is at least uh, very very small and that is the reason whenever the birds have any kind of ways birds remove outside so that is the reason whenever the birds are moving flying anywhere still they are releasing their own excreta many times because the be the place where the waste is going to store rectum is very very small okay this type of characteristics in the case of birds you can see mammals mammals as always important we all are the people are the mammals and mammals is a very advanced group in overall animal groups here yeah, you can call as a cordates or vertebrates mammals are also warm blooded animal as i told you they are nourished to their own mother's milk actually they have a presence of mammary gland mammals have a mammary gland and through the help of mammary gland they are doing the secretion of milk and this mammary gland is the special feature of mammals guys most of the mammals you will see like uh, they are giving the eggs and that is exceptional cases exceptional cases the platypus echidna these are those example the so platypus and echidnas are those type of mammals which are the egg laying mammals as an exception the most mammals also have a body hair we humans are the mammals too as we are doing the preparation of civil service examinations overall if you see the mammals the mammal is divided into three groups the one is a prototheria second is metatheria and third one is eutheria you just try to understand mammals i just spoke in you guys the main feature of mammals why mammal is mammal then the answer is due to presence of mammary gland mammary gland is a milk secreting gland mammary gland is what that is a milk secreting gland so milk secreting gland is a special property of mammals and see one thing more guys if you see the mammals so mammals mammals are actually giving a young one is a birth of young one so new born baby is going to born here in the case of mammal new born baby is a feature of mammal even other example like if you see the fishes 
if you see the amphibians, if you see the reptiles, if you study about the birds, these all are actually egg laying. These are egg laying tadpole, you know, this type of situations. In the cases of fishes, if you're reptile and birds, you will never find as a newborn babies. But mammals have a very specific properties, they are giving the birth of young ones. Okay, and the main important property is not young one. The main important property is the presence of mammary gland. So, priority is the mammary gland always required. Protogerians are those group of mammal guys which are the exceptions. Why exceptions? Because they are the egg-laying mammals. Even UPSC also has the example of this. These are the egg-laying mammals. And two examples I have given you guys. The one is echidna. One is echidna and second is the just backside you people have seen. It was the Platypus. So echidna and platypus are those type of mammals where 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 have a no newborn baby. They have a only and only X legs. Okay, uh, they are getting the X. Metatherians as the best example. They are giving a birth of birth of partially developed babies. Birth of immature babies. The better is birth of immature babies. And this is the reason, guys. Birth of immature baby. They have a marsupial packet. They have a marsupial packet. So what what they have? Marsupial packet. And marsupial packet is that, a marsupial pouch is that, through the help of marsupial packet or marsupial pouch, the animals are growing inside this marsupial pouch and they become as mature there, as they become as mature there. So birth of a mature baby, okay, is going to mature under the marsupial pouch or marsupial packet, that is example of metatherium. So kangaroo and opossums are the examples. I hope you people have seen in the case of kangaroo in their own stomach part. Immature baby's birth is here, guys. Okay, and now the babies are going to mature. And opossum here, opossum. In the case of opossum, that you know the packet is what? The pouch is backside. O P O S U M opossum. So these two animals are examples where our metatherian. They are giving the immature baby's birth, and the mature baby is going to mature into the marsupial pouch. Eutherias, they have giving the proper mature babies birth and they are highly advanced mammal. Mature babies birth and they are highly advanced. Mature baby birth here, guys. Mature babies birth here. Okay, and many other example like human already there, cows, buffaloes, everything are there. A part of whale fish is also coming here, guys. Whale, dolphin, you know, dolphin, even seal also, you know, seal fish. Okay, these all seal. Actually, these all are the mammal. Don't be confused. Even you know dugong that is called sea cow, sea cow. I hope you people heard it. I'm giving you all the miscellaneous examples where the people can be confused. They think so, sir. These all are the fishes, but no, these are the mammals. Even the bat, those you are, you are, you can say as a as as a bird, but bat is not a bird. Bat is also mammals. So these are the some example where the examiner can confuse you people, guys. This is the entire about the mammals in much and much detail with different types of mammals as a protozoan, metatherian, and eutherian. But remember, the most advanced mammals are eutherian. This is my telegram channel regarding this PDF. If people download, you people go and download this PDF from this places, guys. A part of my all the video links, you people can also connect with me. My academy profile is anacademy.tomoblicatarita.ravi. Be a grade 2010. Here are my plus classes. Many of the plus classes where you can find out my science tech environment and the agricultural uh, uh, life, life classes, agricultural life classes. And plus many of my free classes also available on this specials. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any course if you use it. You will get extra 10% discount. My courses of science and environment are running now and plus agriculture also. Agriculture also. These three subjects which have more difficulties to you people in your preparations and many confusions. Now people can connect with me around 30 to 40 questions, 35 questions. Easily you people can find from these two subjects and th uh, two subjects and 20 plus questions you can solve after listening my class and reading my books. This is my plus courses. You can enroll now with the WPSC code and join it on the plus courses. UPSC CSC badges started on the 25th of August 2022. So kindly join it. And here you will get a 20 GS booklet also. An Academy is giving you 0% EMI facilities regarding any loan, your financial grants you have, you can directly call on 8585 8585 CSC Assure is the option that an Academy is giving you. If uh, you are going to buy a course of two years or more than that subscriptions, so extra year extension, you can get it. So kindly use the Ravi UPSC code and enjoy this benefit guys. You people can call me directly regarding your doubts and queries. Regarding the courses, you can call me on 7825860258. So thank you everyone. Kindly subscribe the channel, like and share this video. Download this video on our Telegram group. And please use this bell icon for further notification. So thank you everyone for giving me attention. And meet you soon, very very soon guys in the next class. And I will complete my biology lesson here. So God bless you. Jai.